Last year, my grandma died. But before she died, I told to her face, word for word, what I'd read at her funeral. Because what's the point of reading a eulogy when the person it's meant for can't hear it? Whenever it is, your name will continue with my children. I promise you. I will never forget. I will never forget my glorious Safta. I'm glad I could share this with you and that you're really attentive. For the past months, we've all been living in fear. Panic buying, social distancing, lockdowns. And while most of us are confident our bodies will overcome the virus, for some, the end seems closer than ever. As of March 30th, the coronavirus has killed 35,000 people, 79% of them over the age of 70. In Italy and Spain, Israel and the United States, our most vulnerable family members are all alone. Our grandparents and parents who've dedicated their lives to raise and love us are hiding, fearing the invisible enemy. And this fear is separating us. Three billion people, half the world's population is now in lockdown. We're all trying to keep our minds off the fear, the loneliness, hoping that the storm will pass and that things will return to normal. But the sad truth is that for many, there will be no going back because their loved ones will die. It's just not a storm. <laughs> I knew my Safta was dying. I wanted her to hear how much I loved her, how inspiring she was. I wanted her to know the legacy she would be leaving. When she died, I knew I had said it all. I knew she had listened. Our elderly need us now more than ever. So use this time to let them know you're thinking of them, that you love them. Write a letter, record a voice message, Send them a video. Don't wait. Hi. Hi. Hi, Nolan. Hmm? Shalom, shalom. <laughs> Hello, darling. 